Yeah. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fulfill your orders when you receive an order on your eBay store. And before we start, I have shaved my beard off and I've regretted every moment of it. Got a new mic and I've got a new chair. No more squeakiness. I can swivel around and deliver all some uh, video content for you guys. And can we also address how pale this lighting makes me look? It makes me look like I've never been outdoors. I look like I've just died about four days ago. So, yeah. Anyway, in this video, as I just said, I'm going to show you how to fill your orders. It's going to be nice and quick. Just a quick video before I uh, pick my girlfriend up from work. And I just want to mention one more thing as well. It's not really related to this video, but I've got quite a few followers that follow me that are looking to start selling on Amazon. And if you wish to sell toys and games in this season, Q4, you have to have been selling for a while and have a good seller performance. You will not be able to sell toys from November till after Christmas, probably till around January. So just keep that in mind if you're selling on Amazon and you're thinking of ordering toys. Oh, and one last thing. Join the Facebook group, you can see that on screen, it's going to be for people like you that are interested in e-commerce and selling online, making money online and it's basically just a zone where everybody can sort of post and relate, you can contact each other, if you've got any questions post them in the group and I will answer them or somebody else will answer them and also you can see other questions that people have asked and learn from their mistakes and just surround yourself with people that are like you, that want to make money online and are sick of their jobs. Okay, so enough ranting, let's get into the video. Okay, so when you do get a sale on eBay, you will receive a notification and it will basically say, this item is sold now, so please post it. And obviously you're not going to be posting the item because you are sourcing it from Amazon. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is take the title of your eBay listing and copy it. So we're just going to do that. Copy that and then we're going to go on over to Amazon.co.uk or Amazon.com if you're from the US. Paste that in there and there you can see it's the top one. One more thing as well guys, I strongly suggest you save the Amazon listing of the product that you have on eBay as a bookmark so you don't have to keep searching for it and you can just find it on a bookmark and just click straight to it because you might not always be able to find the product and you'll spend time sort of searching through Amazon for the listing that you had before. So definitely do that. Okay, so when you find the product on Amazon and it matches your listing on eBay, make sure that they are the same so that you're not selling one product and sending them a different one. So always double check it. Um, you're just going to go on over to the quantity. If it's one or two, add that to the basket. So we're just going to add that. And this next bit, you need to click this order contains a gift and this will basically take the price away from the item so when the customer receives it it won't say how much it cost because if the customer orders from your ebay store for 13 pound and they find out that you've bought it from amazon and sent it to them and it only cost you eight pound they're going to be pretty uh, annoyed so make sure you click this contains a gift and it will take away the receipt so they won't see the price so definitely do that and then just click proceed to checkout. And then for this bit, we're just going to click add new address. And basically what you're going to fill out here is the customer order details from eBay. You're just going to copy and paste it. So we're just going to do that now. You'll see the delivery address obviously here. So we're just going to take the name. I am going to blur this out. So obviously you can't see somebody's address, but you will see the, the address there. So just go ahead and copy it over. I would recommend copying it so that you're not getting it wrong, you're not spelling anything wrong. Okay, so fill in the address and then also make sure it says high prices on the packing slip. It will arrive in an Amazon packaging, but it doesn't really matter. As long as they get the item, they won't be that bothered. But they will be bothered if they see that they could have paid less on Amazon. So make sure that is covered. Important. And then I just get rid of these gift messages. You don't need to include them. I'll just click the boxes and then save gift options and payment method one thing that people seem to misunderstand is when someone orders off your eBay the money will go to your PayPal and it will be on hold so you're gonna to have to actually use your own money to pay for this but you've already been paid for it and the, the money is waiting in your PayPal 
So you can't use the customer's money, you will need to use your own money, but you will receive these funds into your PayPal account, so don't worry, you are getting the money. So when you see this bit here, just put in your card details and click next. Okay, so for this next bit, here you can see it's just confirming all the um, order details for you. Make sure you've got Prime Delivery selected and this is why I said you need a Prime Delivery because you will get next day shipping unlimited on all of your orders. So if you haven't got that, in the description sign up, you will get a free 30 day trial for Prime shipping and that will enable you to send the item next day to the customer so then you can put on your eBay listing free shipping. So definitely do that. Okay, so that is it. You've basically filled in all the order details. You've confirmed the, the payment method. You've made sure that you've sent it to the right address. Make sure you've hid the pricing so you've put that it contains a gift. Double check the item, make sure it's correct because you don't want to be sending out the wrong product. Some of them are quite deceiving. They'll sort of appear to have the same packaging and then there'll be different measurements like say 50 mil or 100 mil. So just double check it and then all you're going to click is buy now. And then what you're going to want to do next is just to form a bit of relationship with the buyer on eBay and probably get yourself some reviews out of this. All you need to do is click on your eBay listing and click on the buyer, so here. And then all we're gonna do, we're gonna contact the buyer and then all we're gonna say in this message is, good morning, just to let you know, just, if I can type, <laughs> just to let you know, your recent order and then just copy the a few keywords out of there so I just copy the whole title in fact just copy that into there put that in there and then just paste that in paste and then we're gonna put has been oh my god I really can't type on this keyboard I've got a new Apple keyboard and it's tiny the, the keys are like really close together so I'm, I'm struggling. I don't know if you've got an Apple keyboard, but they're really hard to type on. So we're just going to put has been dispatched. God, I've not looked at the keyboard for ages. Dispatched and will oh, will be with you shortly. And then just put your store name or your name. So I'm just going to put my name, Charles. And all this will do is basically tell the buyer that you've bothered to acknowledge that they've ordered from your store and you've let them know also that you've dispatched it and it will be with them shortly. So, that's my girlfriend messaging me, I'm late to pick up from work. Um, yeah, so just a quick one. That is it guys, you've fulfilled your orders, dead easy. All you need to do, just make sure the items are the same, paste it into Amazon, purchase the item and then you're just going to message the buyer and let them know it's been dispatched and it will be with them shortly. A few days after, we're going to confirm that they've received the order and just check everything's okay. And if it's not okay, they'll leave a message here and let you know rather than leaving a bad review. So yeah, you're just reaching out to the buyer and you're building that bit of communication and they are more likely to leave you with positive feedback. So that is it really for this video, guys. It was just a quick one, nice and brief to the point. Make sure you join the Facebook group because it's gonna be full of people like you. And if you've got any questions, rather than messaging me, just post them in the group and everybody will get back to you. People are really responsive, I'm really responsive, but I can't always be on my phone checking my messages, so definitely join that, it will be in the description. Make sure you've signed up for Prime Shipping, that is also in the description, and that is an affiliate code, so I will receive a commission, but hopefully you've received enough value in this video to think that I deserve a bit of commission. I don't know, I'm just being honest with you guys, I don't wanna be like, click on this and then you find out I'm getting a cut, but. It won't cost you any more, so just be aware of that. Um, yeah, so see you in the next video. Just keep looking. Fuck it, I do it myself. No one taught me. I was like, damn, fuck it, I do it myself. No one put me.